Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about crochet braid essentials, you guys. Everything that you're going to need to make a bomb crochet braid style. We're gonna talk all about maintenance routines. We're gonna be talking about products that you're gonna need, braid patterns and everything. But before we jump into today's video, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give the video a thumbs up, turn your post notifications on, sis, you know the drill, okay? And if you are new, welcome to the channel. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. Okay guys, so before we get into today's video, let me just go ahead and mention my hair. So I am wearing the Toyo Tress J Wand Curl. This video went up, I believe like last week or something like that. I am so in love with this crochet braid style, you guys. Like it's so bomb and I've literally been wearing it for like two weeks. So y'all definitely be sure to go check out this review. I will link it in the cards for you guys as well as in the description box down below. So now let's go ahead and talk about all the essentials that you're gonna need for crochet braids. So let's go ahead and just start off with the braid pattern because that is literally the base of the style. So for my braid pattern, I always do 14 cornrows going straight back same braid pattern every single time for every crochet it's always 14 cornrows straight back sometimes I do crisscross the middle so like I'll braid this braid over here into this one and I'll take this middle braid and braid it into this one so that if I want to do a middle part and I want to do the invisible method it doesn't have that like gapping space in the middle um, you can basically do that crisscross for any part so if you want to have a middle part you can do it there uh, side part you can do it here or there crisscrossing super easy to do it you literally just braid one braid into the other and that's it but I always always do 14 corners I would recommend that you do no less than 10 so anywhere between like 10 and 14 I would say depending on the thickness of your hair I have very thick hair and I am natural so seven braids on each side is perfect for me for some people maybe six if you're relaxed and your hair is you know obviously thinner than five and five may work out for you but I would definitely say no less than 10 and probably any more than 14 is going to be too small so you don't want your um braids to be you know too too skinny like we're not laying a wig down sis so you don't got to do all of that okay so anywhere between 12 to 14 braids for your braid pattern the next thing that I want to go ahead and mention is keeping up with moisturizing your scalp. You do not want to neglect your scalp just because you're wearing a protective style. So get something, some kind of products, whatever you like to use. I like to use um, aloe vera juice. Sometimes I'll put aloe vera juice in a spray bottle, spray that on my scalp. I will use um, an oil, take an applicator bottle and just mix in some of my favorite oils and apply this. Um, sometimes I grease my scalp. Y'all know the green grease or the blue grease magic grease whatever that comes sometimes i'll do that um but yeah make sure that you're doing something to keep your scalp moisturized do not neglect your natural hair just because you're wearing a protective style okay so the next thing that we want to go ahead and mention is going to be let's see i have my notes here because i don't want to forget to tell y'all anything i think yeah so let's just go ahead and talk about actually installing the hair so you're gonna install the hair with this okay this is a beater I know most people use this this is a traditional crochet latch hook however I am NOT a fan of this and if you guys have been to my channel before you already know I don't use this and you've never seen me use it okay every time I install a crochet I use this beater you can get these from beauty supply stores um, I know some of the ones that I go to carry it if you can't find it there you can get it off of Amazon Walmart Michaels it's basically just a jewelry beater that you can um, use this to install beads on the ends of like braids and twist or if you actually make jewelry like bracelets and stuff like that you can use this beater for that as well so it's a great 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 crochet tool I've been using this for years okay since I started wearing crochet this is what I've been using 
bomb you definitely definitely need to get this um i use this in every single crochet braid video that i do if it has an installation process in it so you guys definitely be sure to just go through my crochet braid playlist pick out your favorite styles and you'll be able to see how to use this beater I will, however, link um, a video that I have that is a dedicated video to how to use a beater. I believe it's called um, how to use a beater to install crochet or something like that. But I'll put that one in the cards for sure and in the description box down below for you guys as well. So y'all can be sure to check out that video because I do it like slow motion real time. Um, I might do an updated video on that just because I think it's like a year or two old. But um, nonetheless, it's the same process. So definitely be sure to go check that out if you want to see exactly how to use it. But it is super duper easy, you guys. Okay, the next thing that I want to talk about is actually picking out your crochet braid hair. So a lot of times I'll get questions about like is this hair good for swimming how long would this hair last like whatever you know so let me just give you guys my point of view when since I've been wearing crochet for like five years okay so if you're looking for something that's going to be good in water get something that's silky um get a silkier kind of like long flowy anything that's like a wave kind of textured hair and the reason i'm saying this is because when you get the hair wet like if you completely submerge yourself in the water and put your whole head under and all your crochet braids get wet you're able to just use like some type of water conditioner mix or some type of spray to just go ahead and spray on the hair kind of rake your fingers through to remove any pieces that may have just like matted up and then you can either twist the hair or you can braid the hair and that will help to preserve the curl pattern for the hair so I would highly recommend that um, I would not like this kind of crochet that I'm wearing this is a natural type of kinky crochet I personally would not want to get this wet because it's like how am I gonna I can't really detangle this you know um it's I, this is just not one that I would pick to get wet like I would just really go with something that's silkier to me that would just be easier to maintain if you're looking for something with longevity I would highly recommend something that is this texture a natural it's not coarse it's not like what well, I'm saying it's like a coarse texture but it's not rough you know it's not like sandpaper like it still has a nice feel but it is definitely on the natural side and to me these last the longest like I could probably wear this hair for at least a month maybe maybe two months honestly because as it grows as it grows <laughs> the hair does not grow child as my hair grows um and my braids you know like get looser or whatever and they start getting you know you know how braids get or whatever but like the hair will blend in like so much better like especially along the hairline and everything and it just it just blends really well and it just holds up well and you don't have to there's not much maintenance to do with this type of hair, this type of curl pattern. So if you're looking for something that is low maintenance that will last you longer, I will go with something that's more on the natural side because as it gets older, to me, it just looks even more natural. You know, if you're looking for something that's really good for swimming, really good with water, definitely do something that's on the silkier side. So those are my tips for, you know, depending on what type of crochet braid style you are looking for. The thing I want to go ahead and talk about is the nighttime routine. So you're definitely gonna need a bonnet a scarf um something a satin pillowcase if that's your thing um to be able to protect your hair at night so all crochet braid styles do not really require a nighttime routine so for example this one i would not consider this hair to involve a nighttime routine and what i mean is i don't need to twist it at night i don't need to braid it up at night the only thing i do is put it on the top of my head in a bun like in a little scrunchie and I tie my scarf like I'm pineappling it and I go to sleep and that's it. I take that down in the morning, shake, shake. And, you know, this is what we're serving. OK, so this one really, to me, does not require a nighttime routine. However, if you're going for something that is on the silkier side, something that is longer, a looser, more wavy type texture, you are going to need to preserve that at night by twisting it or braiding it. So normally I would do. Um, probably six twists so like three on this side and three on this side and if the hair is short but it's still like that like um so for example my ocean wave video that I did recently that hair is bomb if you guys haven't seen that one I'm gonna link that one too I'm gonna link my whole crochet braid playlist so y'all can just go through and check out whichever ones you want but that hair it's an ocean wave so it is a loose 
wave like this but it's short it was a bob but I still twisted it at night so what I did was I believe three or four twists and I would just twist them just regular two strand twists and I would just put a little rubber band on the end so that the hair wouldn't come undone and then just tie my scarf on and that's it okay so basically you will either twist or braid the hair and I say braid because if you have a um like I'm trying to think of a good example of a hair so like maybe well I didn't do this for the Bobby Boss but I reviewed the Bobby Boss Brazilian Go Go Curl and to me that hair could either be twisted or braided at night um if you wear something that's like a deep wave or something like that you could braid it as well and the braiding will just help it to be you know tighter or whatever at night but yeah so super easy like I said this one and like most natural textured kind of styles don't really require a nighttime routine it's the silkier textured ones that you need to make sure you twist up at night because those get those get matted up okay those get matted up but y'all know if you've been to the channel before we know how to fix the matting up of the crochet braid hair okay it's this this is the key okay this is our downy washing detergent and water mixture in a bottle sis okay i'm gonna link this video too y'all gotta see this one seriously though like of all the videos like you really really need to watch that one for sure because that is gonna help you to be able to maintain your crochet braids for a long time okay so this is literally downy detergent 50 50 mixture that and water in a spray bottle shake it up spray 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 okay you guys know in my nighttime routines or just in my crochet braid videos in general I would talk about this product this product is the Cantu shine and hold mist I still love this product it has a great smell um and that's really the main reason I would use it my downy one I actually just used my own personal laundry detergent that I use on my clothes so it has a scent but if you buy the blue like the light blue bottle of downy it's unscented so you can use that with the water and then you can spray this on top and this is a really really nice just tropical smell so I would use before I discover the downy and water thing I would be using this and so what I would do with both products is just spray it on the hair and then just kind of rake my fingers through to just kind of like detangle discard any like matted up pieces snip snip on the ends that have gotten rough and then just twist it up or braid it up depending on what style I have but for the style that I have in right now I use the downy mixture and I just spray it on the hair and then I just kind of take the pieces and just like twirl it around my finger just like this really easy it works amazingly it works amazingly you guys it is the key it's the key it's the key okay to wearing your crochet wrist for a long period of time it is fantastic hack absolutely 100% recommend it okay <laughs> okay so the last two things you're gonna need are pretty obvious you're gonna need some scissors like I said sometimes your crochet braids get a little matted up or like they have just ratty pieces don't be afraid to just snip snip okay snip it off and that's it sometimes especially in the back it'll start kind of matting I would say just pull that and then just cut that off and just throw it out like it's no big deal no big deal okay and the last thing I want to mention is edge control so this is my favorite edge control this is the style factor edge booster absolutely love this edge control this is the only edge control that I use that's it okay so basically I just use a toothbrush and um, I lay down my edges and then I tie my scarf and they stay in place like all day if I want to do something that's a little bit extra I'll put a little bit of the um, got to be glue y'all know in the little yellow tube I'll put that a little bit of that on top of the style factor and tie it down and then it's really not moving it's really not moving it's not going anywhere okay so yes I believe those are all of my tips and crochet braid essential products that I would recommend that you get um one thing I did not mention in this video is mousse I do not use mousse on my crochet braids um I know that a lot of people do You'll see a lot of hairstylists and stuff. As soon as they're done the crochet braid style child, all the mousse, 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 a whole big pile of mousse and just putting it all over the hair like that. I used to do that many years ago. Like when I first started wearing crochet and that's all I would see people doing was applying just a ton of mousse on the hair. To me, it makes it sticky and it like, 
it clumps it together but I don't know to me it just doesn't do what it needs to do you know I don't know like I'm not a fan of mousse I don't like it the only product that I use on my hair is what well, was this Cantu shine and hold mist but now it's really that downy and water mixture and that's it this hair the only product that's on it is the downy water mixture like I don't do mousse anymore I haven't used mousse on crochet braids in years um, if that is your thing and you want to go ahead and try it out absolutely like I said I used to do it in the past but not anymore not a fan it it's not giving what it needs to have gave okay <laughs> so we definitely we don't need it we don't need it I definitely recommend the downy water mixture and the Cantu just for like a nice smell and that's really all that you need so I think that is pretty much it for today's video let me know if you guys have any crochet braid essentials that you use that I did not recommend today um would definitely love to know because maybe it's something I want to implement into my routine and we definitely want to share with everyone in the comment section down below help everybody out okay um but that's going to be it for today's video don't forget to subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up turn your post notifications on check out the crochet braid playlist for all of your crochet braid needs and let me know if you have any specific crochet braid hairs that you would like me to review let me know in the comment section down below which ones y'all want to see me review next and i will see y'all in the next video bye